Hello, my name is Representative Pam Powers Hanley and I represent LD9 in Tucson in the Arizona House. Well, today's video is about HB 2872. Today is Monday. That means that we have regulatory affairs this afternoon at around two o'clock or whenever floor ends. And so this particular bill is in regulatory affairs today. It is sponsored by Representative uh, Warren Peterson, who's also the majority leader. And it is a model legislation from the American Legislative Exchange Council, also fondly known as ALEC. And so sometimes I wonder what the Republicans would do without model legislation from ALEC, the Institute for Justice, the Goldwater Institute, Americans for Prosperity, or any of the other right-wing uh, think tanks that are out there. And so basically what this is, HB 2872, is it is harassment through paperwork uh, of the unions. And so Republicans have proposed uh, anti-woman bills, anti-LGBTQ bills, anti-voter bills, anti-immigrant bills, and this one adds to the set and it is an anti-union bill. And so it's unnecessary paperwork, it's harassment of the unions, and why are they attacking unions? Because unions are more popular than ever before. Now, I'm a baby boomer, I'm gonna speak to my fellow boomers, okay boomers? Work life is not like it was when we were working full time. Things have changed. There's the gig economy. It's crazy. People are working two or three part time jobs and not making ends meet. And that's why unionization is on the rise. And that's why the Republicans are attacking unionization. I think we should protect unions and we should protect workers. Workers deserve a living wage. We deserve to have better uh, working conditions and also set schedules. And, and so this uh, ALEC bill is just harassment and it's not necessary. And in fact, when I read about what's going on with HB 2872, I was thinking, gosh, you know what? I think it'd be awesome if the insurance companies uh, did a report like this for their members every year. I would love to know what exactly I'm getting for the amount of money I'm paying in my health insurance. But no, we don't have those kind of requirements on corporations. We're going to have put those requirements on unions because they're making a difference in workers' lives and there are certain people at the top who don't like that. So, no on HB 2872. Thank you.